Hello guys, this is Rujit Basak and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous chapter, we created some directory and a stxs file to handle 404 not found error. First, we need to deal with the database. So I am going to my database.php file in classes folder, opening php tag and I am going to define a class that will be db. And I'm going to define a private static function connect. So basically, this function is going to connect to our database. So basically, this function is going to connect to our database. So define a PDO object which is equal to new PDO and it accepts three parameters in there. So first parameter is for the database name, second parameter is for the username, and last parameter will be password. So in this way, we can interact with the database. So first of all, to connect with the database, there we have to specify our database, which we are connecting with. So currently, in my case, we are connecting with MySQL. So we need to provide MySQL colon host equal to localhost. Then also we have to specify the database name, so we can simply write DB name equal to in this case, our database is PHP API. The second parameter will be the username that will be root because I haven't set to anything else. Then password is in my case password. So we are all set with PDO connection. So now in order to access this thing, we can simply write PDO set attribute and in which we will pass argument PDO double colon HDR error mode comma second argument will be PDO double colon error mode exception in order to deal with any kind of error in this and at last we are going to return that PDO object that we have created so they can simply return PDO so in this way we are just providing an instance where we can connect with a database now I am going to quickly create another function that is public static function query in this i am going to pass two parameter its query and second parameter will be param params and by default this will be an empty array if we haven't passed any sort of parameters as array in this function so it will quickly take it as a default empty array object to interact with the database i am just going to quickly write some codes so statement is equal to self so basically we are referencing this instance of this class. We can simply say connect and then prepare. And here we will pass our query which we are going to write. Then next one is like stmt execute parenthesis semicolon. We will bind that params over here. So whatever the parameters we are passing over here will go through this and it will execute our query. Now one more thing this will give us an error because if we are going to receive any data we need to return something but if the parameter is empty then we need to handle that kind of situation we can simply check if the query starts with select so this will be simply our query and that zero index so basically this function is going to explode this query variable which will be the string into the array of a string and of if its first word is equal to select then we are going to return some data otherwise we are not going to return any data so data equal to dollar stmt and fetch all parenthesis semicolon inside the parenthesis we are going to use an argument that is pdo double colon fetch obj this means it will return um, data as object and if you want to use uh, as array associative array you can use fetch underscore asoc and then we need to return data we are all done with the database and to check whether the database is working properly we can simply go to this url and we can simply go to classes folder database dot php and we can and we are currently not getting any sort of error this page should show us a blank page 
and if it is then we have successfully connected to our database so in our next tutorial we will uh, do something with our index page and this is the end of this tutorial please subscribe my channel for upcoming latest video tutorial thanks for watching